My name is Hugh Evans and I'm the CEO of the Global Poverty Project. I mean, I would argue that, and I'd, I'd really encourage and invite any woman who wants to be involved to volunteer first up, and there are great organisations you can volunteer with. We have a wonderful volunteer program at the Global Poverty Project and an internship and fellowship program as well. So if people want to become interns, fellows or volunteers, I'd encourage them to get involved. Or staff members, you know, we're looking for really skilled people in the workforce to actually give their you know, give their career choice and make it a choice of actually ending extreme poverty. And so we'd love to recruit wonderful women from across the workforce. But beyond us, um, I'd also encourage people to volunteer with organisations like the White Ribbon Alliance, like, say, the Millennium Village Project and Millennium Promise, like CARE. These are all wonderful organisations who are working here in America to enable women to be involved in the area of global development, but also in donating your money because donating your money can have an impact on two levels. If you donate your money towards practical community development projects that provide skilled birth atten attendance to women in childbirth, that provide educational projects for women, these are not costly interventions. You know, a few thousand dollars can have an enormous impact in some of the poorest regions of the world like East Timor, Papua New Guinea, or parts of, parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. Haiti and the like. These are regions where very small amounts of money can make a major difference. But also equally important, it's important to actually support organizations that are lobbying for policy change because often, often policies release further funds to have a much bigger impact. And so if people decide to give to the Global Poverty Project, then we will invest all of that money into creating policy change on the issues relating to the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals so we will encourage US aid to give more to women and also um, combating maternal mortality through, pro through the provision of basic services and, and the strengthening of public health, pu public health services around the world. So that's what the Global Poverty Project does. And any investment in us goes to actually supporting wonderful campaigns across America to make sure that there are businesses and there are governments that are listening and saying we need to do our bit as well. People are not, not, not powerless. Often people feel like, oh, I can't really influence the government. That's complete rubbish. You can influence the government so well if you work together. Like we've done that before. We've influenced the British government recently to adopt better anti-corruption measures. We were part of the campaign that successfully doubled Australian foreign aid. We've also played a key role in getting Cadbury chocolate to go fair trade, which influences many, many farmers in West Africa, about 40,000 farmers in Ghana. You know, these are big interventions, obviously, and, and often as an individual, you're like, well, what can I really do? But the truth is you can do a great deal if you work together, and that's what the Global Poverty Project provides.